Okay, in this screencast, I'm going to move your screen over. We're going to work on the option of adding a text page and how that is done. Uh, so you want to make sure that turn editing is on. You're going to come down to the right hand side uh, of the section you're working in and you have two drop down menus to choose from. We're going to go under add a resource. Okay, as it drops down we're going to pose a text page. Now once the screen refreshes you're giving a few required areas. The first one is the name. The importance of the name is that is what will appear on the next page. That essentially is what the students will see uh, and that's what they'll click on to link to. Um, so you need to make sure the name matches up with your syllabus and the items in your syllabus and it's something the students will be able to identify. You could provide a summary, again that's used more for uh, instructor use than it is for student use. A little bit and we move the screen down. You have full text uh, which is a required field. This is the section um, that you have to apply text to. It's required. Um, you can cut and paste, you can type anew, it, it's your choice. Uh, but that's where the material would appear. And note too that with a text page, it's not something that is being turned in. It's simply just text. Simply information for the students to read. I'm going to pop it up in a new window. And I'm going to hit save and return. As the screen refreshes, we come back to that initial page. And I scroll. Notice now we have the document text page that we named. Notice it's to the left. I haven't indented it, um, but if I was to click on it, a new window would pop up because I put setting for new window. And if I move your screen up, you're able to see the text that we typed in. And so the function for a student is simply being able to read, uh, and not it's not an assignment or a quiz or anything that would be turned in.